An announcement about Archwell partnering with an organisation to launch a political empowerment programme in the US was quickly removed on September the 25th. Recently, Megan's PR company announced that the Archwell Foundation is expanding its advocacy for Afghan refugees through a new partnership with Mina's List. Previously, the couple visited Liberty Village, a transition hub for 11,000 refugees, and donated to four charities focused on resetting Afghan families. The wording of this is so vague and twisted, making it sound like Rachel is the one that helped 11,000 refugees and donated to four charities. I can donate $5 and I'd be considered partner too. Funny, their monetary donations are never detailed, and they're forever partnering, never initiating anything of their own. Then the announcement of Archfell's contribution of feminine hygiene products to Gianco was made soon after this post about the political project with Mina's list was removed. The Gianco announcement was conveniently timed to distract from the Harlem school exploitation news. I wonder if Megan's ramping up a return to a paid for Forks philanthropy PR award hustle. However, Mina's list denied Megan's cooperation and contribution, forcing Archwell to delete its fake announcement. The same thing is done with Gianco Foundation. Interesting that the Mina's list website doesn't even mention anything about Archwell. They don't have the chops to be getting involved in anything political or empowering. They can't even empower themselves, they don't have the chops or money to be taken seriously, but they'll keep using their titles to dabble in political causes. Remember the Kerry Kennedy Award that they bought for themselves? People had paid up to one million for a table, but the Harkles arrived an hour late and left as soon as they could, so no meet and greet and no swanning around with rich people. Madam only wants to be photographed with famous people, not the unknown money people, and that's been a huge part of a downfall. Being rude to the rich is never a good idea. It comes after the British royal family news discloses that fresh off of their Invictus Games PR hijack, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are being warned that the real world doesn't like failures. Richard Fitzwilliams wrote in express.co.uk that the royal traitors need to remember that the high stakes players they wish to be associated with don't suffer fools nor failures. Fitzwilliams cautioned the thirsty designer clad pair that Hollywood couldn't care less about titles. They crave the rich smell of success, something the Markles lack in spades. The Sussexes turned the Invictus Games into their own private red carpet last week, with their photographer Misa and Harriman there to turn Meghan's every cheesy grin, blown kiss and hugger armour into glossy mementos. All that's well and good for the fame hogs, but do A-listers care about Harry and Meghan's takeover of an event meant to honour well-deserving service men and women? Fitzwilliams is spot on writing that the Markles are their own worst enemies, and that Harry's image suffers because of his own behaviour. The Sussexes seem unpredictable, bitter and untrustworthy. The challenge for Harry as he enters his 40th year is to find freedom in a more creative way. In other words, do better, or at least act like you're trying.